Good evening, family. It's your buddy the 14th Prime, and today, hopefully, you saw my short, and that would explain why I'm running this while we talk about what we're gonna talk about. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, I just I got a question for y'all. This is a discussion slash question slash. First of all, how's everybody doing? I love y'all. I hope everybody's doing great. So, about my short, I was saying that I hope y'all watched it. If you didn't, stop the video, go watch the short. And then come on back and finish this up. The age of the primes. Again, if I had a dollar for every time, I just made a dollar. Um, I got my Cronus today. And what? And then, I mean, it's... It, he's awesome. Don't, let, me, let me get that out of the way first. And I know y'all probably get tired of me saying how awesome everything is. And everything is awesome. And yeah, I know. I know. But it really is. The different colors and like the way his little feet actually tab in to the motor, the unicycle. Um, the fact that they gave him a vehicle to ride on. Uh, but this is the this is what I wanted to ask y'all. How many of y'all really cared about the Thirteen Primes until you saw this movie? I was um, reading a comment from Trigger Happy seventy seven earlier and. We were just talking about how awesome the Transformers 1 movie was. Very underrated. A lot of people loved it. A lot of people hated it. I don't get it. I thought it was amazing. Um, there's a dedicated area in here for them. Um, I just, I loved it because I love 99% of things, all Transformers. But when they attempted to do the Age of the Primes or the 13 Primes and the Throne of the Primes, if you remember that, that came with Optimus Primal, I believe. Um, during the siege and uh, was it siege and kingdom? I think it was during kingdom. But anyway, there was a period during that run where you could get the um, many. They we were the bodies of headmasters, but they when they transformed, they were just the relic of each one of them. And then, you know, like we didn't really think about it because I did a video uh, probably like seven, eight months ago saying, hey, do you you might already have all 13. And that's when I was like, I ain't doing this. I'm not buying, you know, another 13 primes. I've got all 13 of them, but in many figures. And then I saw Transformers 1. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. They're really, really, really iconic. And a lot of people like didn't know or hadn't watched the movie, I mean, not watched the movie, but hadn't done like the homework on who the 13 were or whatever. So then when they were introduced, means that they were introduced to us as, okay, this one was the first, <coughs> excuse me, this one was the first Transformer, or this was the first Minicon, and this one was the first female, and this was the first beast, and this was the first bartender. You know what I mean? Like, it started, it, it became more and more prevalent to me that uh, like, I got to get these guys. I've got to get these guys. And like sitting here now looking at my Cronus, um, it's like every time I get one, um, it becomes, you know, another favorite. I wish that there was a way that the motorcycle could balance itself without um, putting the exhaust down with my Cronus. But that's a small thing. And you can, like I said, you can still tilt it out. But then I started watching other people's videos and there's like apparently other configurations and like you can turn the bike into a little jet and all this other stuff. But just the fact that they molded him one in clear plastic with so much detail and so much paint and then made it so that he could ride the motorcycle. It's a it's a dope toy. It really is. So then the guy that I was, the video that I was watching, the guy I was watching his video, he took the uh, weaponizer parts of Micronus and put them on Megatronus. And then he put them on like other people. So like it kind of brings back that whole playability, like that siege and, and, you know, had with the weaponizers or whatever. As for me, I don't, I like, I thought it was cool then, well, seven years ago, I thought it was cool to take Optimus and put other people's guns and stuff in his backpack and all that kind of stuff. But, like, I don't really like the whole weaponizer thing now. Like, taking six shot, I leave, um, not six shot, six gun. I leave him as his robot form or his jet mode, you know, uh, and that's it. Or, you know, with brunt and full tilt. I leave them either as the robot or their, you know, respective alt mode. I don't use them to weaponize. Like, I don't think you need to be weaponized if you came with a weapon. You know what I mean? 
Unless you're Wheelie. Wheelie might need some weapons because he's only got a slingshot. But watching Transformers 1, and again, we watch this movie like almost at least twice a week. Or we fall asleep to it. At least. Because my son loves it. I love it. My wife says that every time she watches it, she sees something different that she didn't see before. And the same thing with me. Like, I'll find little Easter eggs that I thought that I knew and or something else that was a reference to something else that I didn't realize. So that made me want to, you know, go and check out these primes. And then when they said, oh, we're going to release them, I thought that they were going to do them in Transformers 1 fashion. I wasn't expecting to love... Alpha Trion so much, or Solus as much, or Onyx as much. Um, and it, like with Star Convoy, I did not plan on, I didn't plan on getting half of them. But now that I'm eight in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. I've got eight so far with my Cronus coming in uh, earlier today. Um, and now I'm kind of sad because the next wave is not going to hit until like December, which is fine. You know, it gives you time to buy other stuff, but you know, I, I want to finish this collection out and and look at how they look, you know, together or whatever. And then I'm like, do you even pose them together? Like, do you put the all because if that's the case, then you've only got one Decepticon, which is Mechatronus, and like, you know, do you leave? The, is are are the rest of them gonna be like Decepticon ish uh, primes or whatever? But no, I mean, we'll we'll see. But yeah, as far as factions are concerned, I I want I don't want to separate them. I want them all on one shelf or maybe two shelves um, just so that they can stretch out a little bit. But let me know in the comments, did y'all know who the age, who the 13 primes were? Did you care who they were? And then once you started getting them, did you start, were you automatically like, okay, now I got to get the rest or now I got to get the next one? Because <laughs> for me, like I said, I wanted Prima and Solus because I was like, oh, Adam and Eve, got them. I want them, got to have them. And then I saw the new Alpha Trion. And then I saw how fast I was able to get him once, you know, that was a quick run. From the time that they showed Onyx and showed Alpha Trion and showed um, Alchemist Prime, next thing you know, it felt like literally, it felt like maybe a snap of a finger. Next thing you know, they're showing up. So, like, let me know. Are you collecting? Oh, oh, oh. And this is the other thing I want to talk about. So, yeah, I'm not the only one who heard them say on the Hasbro Pulse that if you buy all of them, that all their weapons will combine. I have tried with the eight that I have so far, and I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I'm genuinely, uh, usually a smart guy. I've graduated college. I've done okay in life. I'm retired, basically. Um, so, I, I thought that I'd be able to figure out something. I don't get it i do not see how the weapons will combine especially with like maybe it's alpha trion symbol and not his book but i don't know we'll figure it out it's your buddy the 14th prime